In this Unity package, you will find a scene that has two buttons. The play button is just for decoration, but if you press the exit button, that displays a confirmation dialog with two options. If you press no, the dialog closes and you go back to the main menu, but if you press yes, the application closes. In this case, as we are in the Unity editor, the result is that we exit the play mode, but in a PC or mobile device, the application will close. You can download this package with the link in the corner. Let's take a quick look at how this system works. Here we have a canvas and inside it there is an object called vertical. This game object has the two buttons as childs, the play button and the exit button. In the onclick event of the exit button, we execute the setActive function on the dialog box game object, passing true as parameter. So basically this button activates this checkbox when pressed and that makes the dialog appear. Inside the dialog, we have this black image with a semi-transparent background and the two buttons which are inside this game object called horizontal. The no button does the opposite of the exit button. It executes the setActive function passing false as parameter on the game object of the confirmation dialog. So basically the button unchecks this checkbox when pressed and consequently the dialog is no longer visible. The yes button executes a function that is defined inside the script that is assigned to this game object, this function here called quit application. In this function, if we are in the Unity editor, it executes this instruction, and this is what exits the play mode. But if we aren't in the Unity editor, it executes this instruction instead, and this closes the application. To know a bit more about how to configure buttons to execute a function inside the script, I leave this video in the corner. You can download this Unity package with the link in the description. I hope you found this video useful and see you in the next one. Cheers.